So Carl, strong, good game today as well, 2-0 win. Thoughts on the game? Yeah, I thought it was a difficult game. Um, I thought there was a lot of sort of intensity within the game. It seemed like there was a lot of pressure-filled situations. Um, I thought I felt like we had to defend well, and they came out strong. I know we got that goal. Um, again, the pressure that they sort of put on the ball after that meant that we had to maybe sit a little bit deeper and soak up a lot of pressure and wingers were having to maybe come back and, and help out defensively. But let's see, I think everyone put in an unbelievable shift um, in order to see it through and, and get to two goals at arguably sort of very, very um, key times in the game. So particularly obviously the first 10 minutes of the first goal and then not long after the second half when they came out arguably very strong again um, and we dealt with it and coped with it. And I felt like we were much more of a threat going forward, particularly on the break um, in, that, uh, in the first half and in the second half. Again, you yourself and Ben Ryden as well, really, really strong. It sort of sent them back as well. Um, what's it like, sort of, obviously with the wingers dropping back as well? What's it like just in defence, sort of trying to deal with the the added pressure of North Shields trying to get back in the game? I think, uh, looking so far this year, I think defensively we've been really sort of quite solid in games, and I think just individual errors at times have maybe let us down um, for, for mistakes, and, and that comes from a team effort. It comes from a high press, you know, from what, what Gary likes of us and, you know, stopping the ball, coming forward and then being able to apply pressure so we're closer to men and getting the bodies back behind the ball. Um, so I think everyone within that squad is invaluable uh, defensively in order to allow, allow us to counter teams, you know, and, and really put a press on teams when, when we have the ball. Um, so let's like say the shift from everyone is absolutely paramount to how well Rye, Rye play and how well we do. Yeah, and your first game back as well from injury. Obviously, you came off during the the last cup game against RCA, just hamstring. Um, how's that feeling? Uh, much better. Um, we've tried to manage it as best we can. Uh, Jimmy's been excellent with regard uh, regards to the physiotherapy um, and getting me back in a timely manner. So it's been three weeks today uh, since that happened. Um, it was only sort of like a strain or a tweak uh, when it did happen, but like uh, like I say, I didn't feel like a complete tear or, or it went. I've come off, I, I feel good, I feel okay, well, I, I'm tired, don't get me wrong, um, but I'll be ready to go again um, whenever Gary calls upon me, whether that's midweek against Team Red Star or whether that's into the next Vars game or the next league game. But like I say, we've got really good competition defensively, you know, with Jack Walker and uh, Ben Ryden and Danny Lay um, and Adam Cox and... You know, we've, we've, got, we've got a strong defensive unit, I think. And you've got to be happy with the result as well today. Over the moon, uh, over the moon. They're a good side. Um, they've got good pedigree within the FAVARs, so they've obviously won the competition before. Their management have won the competition before with a different side. So they came here with, with a plan, and we, we've captured that plan, and we were well prepared. Um, Gary was well prepared. He, he said he went to go watch them, and I think all that came together on the day. So really, really pleased to get in the next round. We know how big this competition is. I've reached the semi-final before, six years ago, um, and I'd love another crack at it. Um, so we've got a couple in the camp who've done really well before in the past. Michael Ray got there with Spenny Moore. So why not? Let's see what we can do.